We had some beautiful sunshiny days the last weeks, and while I really enjoyed being outside and soaking in the sun, let us not forget about drawing. Namely, let's see how we can apply what we learned in the previous fundamental videos into one drawing. And while drawing lines and ellipses over and over again might be boring and repetitive, here you will see how your ability to execute these correctly will help you immensely in sketching. As you can see, I use straight lines to build primitive shapes for my vehicle. It is always easier to draw anything in perspective if you can place it into the most basic of shapes. I identify the axis on which the wheels will be placed and I draw the vertical lines that will represent the long axis of my ellipse. With the construction done, it is an easy step to create the ellipse just as I showed you in the previous video. I use section lines to be able to keep my measurements correct and have my symmetry work in perspective. Usually I do these steps using a light gray marker, but in this case I wanted to make sure to showcase how you don't have to be afraid of construction lines. Going over the lines with a thicker pen or just doubling the lines will attract the eye's attention and in the end the brain will filter out only the important information anyway. At the same time you will still see all the visual information that is there and it will be easier for the brain to read this as an actual 3D object. As you can see here I started adding detail too early without having finished the construction of my base shapes. I tend to do this quite often because I just can't control myself when it comes to detailing. I had to jump back and construct the right front wheel of the car because I knew that part of it would be visible. Notice how I drew the wheel through the rest of the construction lines, but I'm not worrying about that being distracting, because I know I will come back with the thicker lines and will outline the parts that are actually visible. To add some pop to the sketch, I added the shadow areas to the spoiler and wheels. I also continue adding more detail to the drawing, this way pushing the construction lines even further to the background. Adding a shadow to your product always helps placing it into the environment. We will be focusing on lighting and shadows in future videos. I really enjoy how sketchy and wild the lines are, so I want to have the same feeling with the colors as well. So I decided to only add hints of color with a marker and do the rest of the colors digitally. Sometimes having a dirty, sketchy style is exactly what the client might be looking for, so don't strive for perfect, clean sketches all the time. I like adding a background color to my sketches to make the visuals pop a little bit more. In this case, I went with orange, which is a complementary color to blue, but it works quite well with green as well. Keep in mind that it is always a good idea to let some of the surroundings be reflected in your drawing. In this case, I brought some of that orange color that I have in the background into the car. And yeah, this is pretty much how easy it can be to do ID sketches if we have the correct control of the fundamentals. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please feel free to hit that like button and subscribe and maybe take a look at my Instagram. Have a great week and see you next time. Bye bye.